Whoa! Hey everybody! It's, uh, time to look at some old-ass video games. <clears throat> and, um, been on kind of this, like, old open-world kick lately. Uh, so this is Zillion for the Sega Master System. It is, uh, it is based on some kind of anime that involves the gun. Um, <clears throat> the, the light phaser that came with the Master System was actually based on, I guess, the, the gun from this series? I don't know. Kind of a weird thing. They, they ended up translating a few of the episodes of it into English, but I guess not all of them. Uh, you know, it doesn't seem like it was supremely popular, um... But they did make Zillion, which is kind of an open-world metroid kind of thing, where we've got to go get these discs from Planet X, and Apple and Champ have been kidnapped. I got a hold of this game um, without the instructions. Uh, so it, it's it's not... Um, you know, it gives you these instructions here, which, which is pretty much... You, know, you can kind of figure out what it means, but there were just things for a really long time that I just, you know, I couldn't understand what the hell was going on. So, you can display all the commands here, and it says, you must input an ID card to activate the computer, however the red ID card is required. After use it will not be returned to you, except in the case where the command door open is used. Command door open. To open the closed door, input the four letters which appear when the secret box is destroyed. Like, that's not exactly the, the most straightforward uh, instruction in the world. Uh, but we do have the commands here, and you can kind of see the symbols we'll be working with. Um, now, the, the 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 other secret that makes this stuff a lot easier to remember is if you look at, for the most part, there's one one or two exceptions here. If you look at the right half of these things, you'll see that there's numbers. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. Seven. That's that's eight. That's not. That's a little. That's a little weird. That's nine, and that's a uh, zero. It's just a zero. Um, and so those have specific commands, but here we are, we're up here on the, the top level here, we have to go down to this base, and, uh, I like the music, that's, uh, this is, that's the, this actually is the theme from the, the, the anime, but, hearing the ladies sing it, I don't, I don't think it's nearly as cool. Um, bye, see you later. Um, so I have some, I, I'm doing some cheating. There actually is an, an infinite health co uh, uh, cheat for this game, where you kind of uh, go through a, a, a force field that is killing you as, and as you're running out of life, you're on this elevator, and, and it kind of drops out and, and glitches out, and, and you don't take any damage for the rest of the game. Um, but rather than jerk around with that, why don't we just uh, get right into it, and I will just ch ch cheat from the get-go here. Um... But, you know, primarily dealing with these guys, you just, you know, you get up to them, duck, and then keep moving. Uh, but you do end up in situations like, oh, these mines here. You eventually get gun upgrades that make it so you can just shoot through those mines, but you know, I was never, there, got over one. I was never reliably able to really deal with, uh, to deal with those. Alright, take this elevator up. And, uh, I think to the left there's just nothing, or there's, like, yeah, it's kind of a dead end. And if I... If I shoot it a bunch there, that appears. It's a, that's a food power-up. It looks like food, right? Food! Uh, that'll restore your life. Um, and yeah, so your, your mission here is, is to, uh, rescue two other dudes, or, or a dude and a lady, and find these floppy disks and blow up everything and fight a dragon and stuff like that. I only have... JJ here. Uh, I can hit the pause button to bring this up, and you can actually switch between the three characters once you've uh, once you've found them. Uh, we don't have that luxury right now. All right, so here's kind of what the basic room in Zillion's going to look like, and those commands that we looked at either uh, earlier. You know, you can input commands to disable the laser barrier, which is this here, which which you know you walk through it, you take a, a fair amount of damage. But uh, since we're not taking any damage at all, I'm just gonna not dig around with that. All right, so we need to remember this stuff. That's an eight. 8, 6, 4, 7. We'll go back to our computer here. And we enter 8, 6, 4, 7. You can enter them in any order. I just like to enter them in the order I remember them in. So if you use that door open command, you get your ID card back. Uh, but if you want to use any of the commands, like to disable turrets or disable those beams or whatever, it eats the ID card. Uh, so you'll be finding ID cards throughout the game as well that you can then use, you know, cash them in 
in cases where you want to make a, a room a little bit easier. Uh, the other thing is there are uh, invisible beams. Uh, I mean, you can get a scope that makes them visible, but we don't have that yet because we went this way first instead of the other way. So when I walk through here, uh, an alarm's going to go off and, and these guys will come in for a little bit. Not a big deal. And, uh, you know, since this is just open, you know, there's not going to be any, like, door codes to deal with. This is just, yeah, it's just a, a pile of, of ID cards for you to work with. And, oh, see, that guy ducks. That's, that's a real dick move. Alright, um, as you can see on the pause menu here, his a zillion power is one. Uh, we need to get it up if we want to, uh, break these. Good, satisfying ping. It's good. It's good. A little food here. Don't really need it. Uh, so you know, I th this this would be a case where you would you would go disable that beam instead of just jumping through it, probably, or you would have not eaten the food and then jumped through and you got the food or whatever. So we got to level up, uh, and now you see we're we're level two and not I think that eventually makes us you can jump higher and stuff like that like apple can jump higher and and isn't as powerful and champ can not jump as high but is super powerful but we have gun power so now we're at zillion level 2 so you have power level 2 over here and now we can just bust that stuff open that's another level up in here I don't I don't remember how to get that these doors open uh, there must be something else earlier other another spot and an ID card all right so we've gotten that uh, that power up now we can head out of here that's actually the whole reason why that section is there. Just jumping on the landmines. It'll be fine. I'm just going to look over here so I'll make sure the recording is going okay. I'm trying to do this at a higher resolution than normal. Uh, you know, higher quality video and such. Get a full 720 uh, out of this. All the P's that I can muster. Uh, Alright, so we're kind of heading back into that main uh, hallway. Oh. That's just a bad jump. If I tap the jump, I can I'll make a little noise. Like he's gonna fake it. Like he's gonna fake you out. Like I'm gonna jump. No, I'm not. Which is fun. I like fun. All right. I see. Like I... that's a that's a good move for you know whatever machinima needs you have with with zillion. You know that's the key can mean like he's making some sort of. Lewd gesture. That's what I would use it for. Uh, Alright, what do we got? <clears throat> An ID, uh, ID card, some food. We don't need the food. Alright, we know that these four are all going to be doors related. So let's remember them. Two. Fiver. Nine. Alright, two, five, nine, and that's good. That's an alarm. 2591. They randomize. What do we got? Uh, 2591. Alright, so let's open that elevator here. We can take it up here. And see, because we were smart and we got the gun power up first, we're already over here. We're ready to go. All right, here's scope. So you see that line appeared over there on the, the left side of the screen. That's where, uh, you know, the, the alarm stuff is. We can see it now. So we know not to go that way. So we go back down here, you can see. Look at that. Boom. Don't go that way. Except you're going to have to go that way. All right. <clears throat> now that we've uh, done our stuff to the left and right, we're ready to get into the game proper uh, and start submerging deeper into the facility. Uh, I mean, there's nothing stopping you from just going here, but other than the part that you're probably going to need those gun power-ups. That's a zero, four, seven, oh, four, seven, nine. Oh, four, seven, nine. Let's just go up there and see what's up there. couple of ID cards. You know, let's, uh, I'm going to display the map uh, here, burn one of these ID cards, because I don't remember what the map actually looks like. Not... Uh, 
Those are fun. A lot of fun noises. Well, great. So we're there. That's the, the size of the whole game. Um, I finished this game on the Master System, you know, like like proper uh, six. It's not. An, it was not an easy uh, game. Six zero nine two. Sometimes the name of efficiency of trying to punch those buttons out uh, in the shortest way possible, you get all turned around and fuck the whole thing up and have to go back and look at the, the numbers again. It happens. So we got a moving walkway. See? And that'll move you right into that beam. That's bad news. That'll just kill you. You know, so you're better off probably burning a card, disabling. Let's just, let's, let's do it. Right? Let's disable laser barrier. You just have to make sure you save one ID card because you need one in order to uh, to open doors. It's three, four, seven, one. Oh! And see it, the the it'll eventually start going again. It's not doesn't even give it to you for the full time that you're in that room. This is a, a, a gun level three pod. Can't open that with this level two gun. It just doesn't work. All right. Now see here would be a room where you'd be like, shit, I only have gun level one. I can't go any further. Uh, so you have to go back. One. Four. One, four, seven, nine. Now this room here, there'll be two openings. We can take that elevator down or we can go around. It's actually, I mean, you end up at the same place either way, but if you go around this way, there's, there's one more room. And I believe it has a level up upgrade in it, so kind of in your best interest to not just shortcut around it. Uh, it's that room, that, that one over there on the right, I think. Six. Nine. Floppy disk. Oh, we don't need it. Yeah. Six, nine. Hole. Six nine four two. Don't care. Don't care. Six nine four two. Go. All right. Let's just shoot all these dudes here. Oh, that one ducks. That's it all. Oh, you know what? I think I can't even. Well, I'm gonna set off this wall again. I think I actually can't get in here because I can't jump high enough. I can't get up there, so that's that's not one's not for me, or I have to wait until I've uh, you know leveled up or, or something. But I think we can bust it open at least. Yeah, that is a level up. Let's move on. Now, see, that's the elevator. That's that's where we would have gotten to, uh, you know, if we hadn't gone that way. Five, zero, five, oh, four, eight. Did that power up give me the ability to jump any higher? It doesn't look like it. Looks like I'm level three, but that doesn't mean my jump is jumpier. 
I thought that was the whole thing. I mean, they give, show you a jump rating. I figured that was because you could eventually jump higher, but maybe I'm just crazy and you have to be uh, Apple to get that. Or you don't have to be Apple to get that, but you'd have to be Apple to get in there, and then you can switch to another character and get it, because I think it's been a while. I think if you change characters, you're, you're in the right, the exact same spot. It doesn't necessarily... Um, Uh, it doesn't necessarily, like, keep the characters in a persistent area, I don't remember. Nine! Four! One! Three! Nine! Four! One! Three! Alright. It helps if you sing it the way the computer would want to hear it. Uh, I find that makes the door remembering go much easier. And a free ID card for, for the road here. Er, out of here. Five. What was that? That's five, eight, three, food. Yeah. Five, eight, three, four. There's a continue code in the game. Uh, you can also get all your health back by returning to your ship, and you can use an ID card to warp back to that first elevator shaft. So, in cases where you're, like, actually caring about how much health you have and stuff like that, like, those are the ways you would kind of get back and do stuff. Now, we can go down here, but I have a feeling we're probably going to want to, you know, uh, finish out this level first here and kind of see what's around. <clears throat> Is there... You know, there is a secret... Sort of like how I did with that food. There's... One of these walls you can shoot and it'll open a passageway. I just don't know. In the case with the food, actually, the, the bullets would stop, so you can see where you were kind of hitting something. I don't remember. But there is something like that, and this seems like it would be a likely place to put something like that since it is just a full-on dead end, but... Whatever! A little flickery. There's enemies here. Hmm. Left or right? Let's... Let's, let's go right. Whoa! Guy was hauling ass. Five, four, two. Nine. How are we looking over here? Still going? Good. Of course it would be down there. I bet there's food in that one. That'd be a nice thing for them to do. Jerks. Look at all those mines! I'm gonna feel I should go back the other way. These guys are moving so fast. I can't even. Oh, I guess I can shoot them from here. Huh? Uh, yeah. Let's make a quick uh, rush back to the left because that just looks like that's kind of the the way to keep going, which means to the left there's probably something cool. Uh oh. I can't get there. What's in here, though? Level up. Food. Alright. Now we know. These doors all stay open, so it's, it's fine. Uh, so yeah, like, backtracking's not a hassle. I mean, the enemies obviously respawn, but you don't have to go through all the door stuff uh, anymore. Whoa, those guys are shooting up. I don't mean in a cool basketball diaries kind of way, either. What do we got? Seven, one, four, eight. All right, moving on. There's a turret. Eight, eight. 
Seven. Five. One. Eight, seven, five, one. Now can I? Oh yeah, I can't even shoot that. It's just oh, here's another another uh, two-way thing here. But again, I want to say it just kind of serpentines down, like in this real kind of basic S shape. Uh, and there's usually like a decent reason for you to see every room, so might as well just stay on this level for now. Six. Seven. Six, seven, one, five. And again, since you have to find all five of these floppy disks and stuff before you can continue. I mean, you, you kind of end up going to just about every room anyway. Nine, seven. Ouch. Oh. Five, three. Nine, seven, five, three. Jerks. Well. Ha ha! What's up here? Just kind of continues on like this. Seven. Four. Eight. Seven four eight oh. All right, uh, another spot for us to go down. down, I guess. It's not that much more to show. I was hoping to kind of get up to, I think, Apple's the first one you save. Just kind of show the other character, but I don't know that we're that close. Um, eight, five... Nine, six, eight, five, nine, six. That's uh, halfway down here. At this point, I'm just lost, but that's okay. Nine, zero, six. Another, yeah, another down, huh? What's, what's down here? Let's look. Hey, what's up? Well, this is a crazy way down. This must be the far left side. The far left side of things is an elevator that'll take you to, yeah. Take you around a lot of stuff. Uh, hey, level up. Jump is still two, though. Level-ups increase your life, but since I've got this 
cheap thing going, it just blocks it at 700, so... Uh, what's in here? Nothing. Great. Oh, dude. My... Is there a way out of here? Oof, just barely. So uh, that's not an easy jump to make with these jump controls. Now that we're all the, all the way at the bottom, which sure this is probably not the order we want to be going in. If we'd gone the other way back there, we'd have stayed in that red area, and I want to say that Apple is in that red area. Alright, six. Eight. Oh. Ooh. Five. Alright, a pathway up. Interesting. Up, please. Oops. Okay, oh, got the all the way out there for a while. Yeah, there's a right way and a wrong way to handle this room, but screw it. Four, eight, six. Four, eight, six, nine. Both doors, look at that. Over here. I think this actually just leads to that elevator, right? Or just about. Oh. Well, we're gonna have to go back around if we. Food, food, and that's probably a gun. No, it won't. Oh, there's a gun. Alright. Look at that! Oh man, we are so powered up! Now we can shoot these mines. Um, because my gun is so stout! Well, oh, there we go. Alright. Alright, now that we've seen the level 3 gun, you probably have a good idea of what Zillion is. Um, not gonna just play through the whole thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, this is uh, definitely one of the cooler Master System games. They made a sequel, and it's really unfortunate because it's crap. It's, it's fucking garbage. <laughs> like, it's just not the... It's not even the same game, really. Um, well, I need to go back and see what's in that level 3 one over there, huh? Um, oh. huh? Now my jump is 3. It was 2 before, wasn't it? Am I crazy? Oh, yeah, look at that. Boom! Real game changer right there. Um, anyway, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the Master System didn't have a ton of, of, like, things on it that were big in scope. I mean, you know, you had your Fantasy Star and stuff like that, I think gets a lot of credit, but, you know, there was a lot of, like, Sega's arcade uh, roots kind of, kind of, kind of holding it down there, I think, and, and you didn't end up with. No, oh, whatever. You know, it, it had Alex Kid. It had, you know, it gets kind of platformers and, and, and its its share of, of kind of typical console games. But, you know, you never really think of it as, as being like a place for, for games that are all that big. Uh, this was a this was big. This game felt like large in scope and, and you know, kind of Metroid-like uh, in a lot of ways. Um, and, you know, I think it was, it's cool with the computer system and stuff like that. It's not exactly explanatory, like, the, the some of that stuff gets lost in translation um, in this game. Kind of how to actually open the damn doors, which is why as a kid I had it for, god, probably like six months or a year or something like that before I even, like, realized what the hell any of the simple stuff meant and did. So it was just like, a, this, like, get to the three rooms or whatever, and, and that was that, and that was always really frustrating. But uh, it's, it's cool. Zillion is a neat game. Um, 
And that's about it. So yeah, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, we'll be back with more at some point. Right? Right? <laughs>